Let's write the number 6.25 as a fraction. So first off, what we'll do, we'll call it 6.25 over one. It's still 6.25, but now we have the start of a fraction. What I need to do is get the numerator here to be a whole number. And I can do that by multiplying times 100. That's because 100 times 6.25, that equals 625. Now I have my whole number, but I can't just multiply the numerator by 100. I also need to multiply the denominator by 100. That's because 100 divided by 100 is just one. So we multiply by one, we don't change the value, just the way it's represented. 100 times one is 100, and now we have our fraction. The decimal 6.25 equals the fraction 625 over 100. But we can simplify this down to lowest terms. Let's do that. So I can divide 25 into 625 and 100 evenly. 625 divided by 25, that equals 25. And then 100 divided by 5, that equals 4. So the decimal 6.25 equals the fraction 25 over 4. This is an improper fraction because the numerator is larger than the denominator. So let's change it to a mixed number. 4 goes into 25. 6 times 4 is 24, and that would give us 1 left over, so we'd have 6 and 1 fourth. So we could write the fraction 25 fourths as a mixed number 6 and 1 fourth. This is Dr. B writing 6.25 as a fraction. Thanks for watching.